okay, but before you shake it, is whenever you're ready, you tell me because I can interrupt any moment. Broadcasting live from Nancy, from the Institute Jean Lamour. Uh, we are having contact with Dr. Florian Congoli. Dr. Florian Congoli is approaching here with Dr. Uh, Jean-Marie Dubois, and they're entering the Institute right now. The... We are just entering now. I'm Mario Lineares, and we are doing a special broadcasting from three continents. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. On parle français. On est on est en français. Oui. 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 On est en français. Vous vous connaissez votre votre fondateur. On n'a pas besoin là. Oui. Besoin de présenter ouais. Jean-Marie Dubois et puis moi-même Thierry Belmont qui suis là pour vous accueillir et vous faire visiter l'Institut Jean Lamour qui est un laboratoire, comme vous le savez, de très grande taille en France. Le fondateur doit tra traduire de français en anglais. Thierry est le directeur de ce institut. Uh, which is one of the largest, uh, at least in this country, 
yeah. dedicated to material science with uh, staff of uh, So we're going to have a visit yes. to the Institute mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's an honor for me, you, you're going to guide us. I am with the founder of the Institute and I am the actual director. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, a pleasure to welcome it's a pleasure you. also. So and we're going to... Kerry is a member of the founding team. Oh, the founding team, correct. Yes, okay, yeah, so you are in the deputy. same team. She was the deputy director. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So, no, but, uh, we're okay. going to keep the masks. So, I, we can remove them. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can switch to English now. Yes. Yeah, it's better in English because the transmission is, it is, uh, oh, yeah. So, if you agree, just uh, follow me. We are going to uh, visit the chief. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, forward just to explain what uh, is Chantal Lamour uh, very quickly. So, it's uh, this uh, laboratory is um, de dedicated to material science in general. So we are organized in four different departments with uh, 24 uh, research groups. And uh, the building is a brand new one. So we have uh, finished moving and into this new building in 2018. And uh, it's about uh, 28,000 square meters at our arrival for research uh, in general. And so we have about 200 researchers, uh, 100 uh, people that are uh, helping us uh, and technician, engineers, etc., mm -hmm. and uh, also about, uh, as it was said by Jean-Marie, uh, 200 um, PhD students and postdoctorate. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we're yes. going to start from the tube. Yes, if you want Which to, to see the just, uh, to, to, just, to, uh, just a short description before we visit, in order for everybody to understand. To understand it. So yes, the tube. It's a very specific device that we have. Uh, Conceived, so it's a professor called Stéphane Mongin, who is uh, the inventor of this uh, of this facility. It's uh, 70 meter long, and so the whole building was built around this specific uh, uh, facility, where we can go and do uh, surface science uh, to better understand um, all the uh, surface mechanisms that stand at the atomic level between atoms and molecules, and to try it like that to uh, Invent new materials, so that's the idea. So that's what we are going to see right now. So if you read this thing, yeah, sure. Yeah, and then to the we're going to we're gonna go to the uh, to follow the, all the visit with everybody. Uh, okay, so let's go. Uh, uh, if Mario is hearing me, I, I missed his voice, so probably I'm still kicking, call me on WhatsApp. I'm here, Dr. Florian. I'm just getting in touch with. Uh, I was just uh, letting you guys do the talk because you're the stars of the show. So, yes, uh, what you can see here is what we call the tube. So uh, this, uh, this facility that I told you is 70 meters long. Here you can see only 40 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the rest of the tube uh, is uh, beyond the, uh, the wall over there. So the tube crosses the wall and the samples on the other side can be transmitted through uh, uh, the tube thanks to a specific device there. And uh, this uh, facility is really devoted to the, uh, to the understanding of uh, uh, elementary processes at the atomic scale. 
the, the reason why there are uh, another 30 meters on the other uh, on the other side is uh, because we want to separate the industrial activities from uh, basic research. So uh, mainly for uh, um, uh, attacking uh, and, uh, and ideas of that kind that cannot be shared between uh, both uh, uh, parties. So uh, the main idea of the tube is just to operate uh, samples under ultra high vacuum. Simply because when you stand at a pressure that is uh, already only a, a, a billionth of uh, an atmospheric pressure, a surface can be uh, contaminated in, uh, let's say, uh, one second or even less. And so if you want to uh, study the surface, it must remain clean enough mm -hmm. to avoid the contaminations by uh, contaminants from the air or from the atmosphere, whatever it is. And in this uh, facility, the samples are at a pressure that is the, uh, almost the minimum pressure that you can reach, which is typically 10 to uh, minus 11 uh, millibars. At such a low pressure, you have almost uh, no particles left in the tube. And so that's the reason why you can handle the, uh, the samples for, let's say, several days without any contamination. So if you want to drop a molecule or an atom on a surface that you control permanently, then you can do that and see what is, uh, this atom or molecule is doing on the surface. So there are for that uh, several types of uh, uh, devices that are used. The first one is to make a deposition of the matter. And so this can be achieved, for, for example, by a molecular beam epitaxy or by uh, a pulse laser deposition over there, as you can uh, see with the uh, behind the curtains, the black curtains over there. So uh, there are several possibilities to uh, bring matter on the surface. So either by evaporation, or by sputtering, uh, by ablation, etc. So once you have chosen the typical material that you want to put on the surface, <coughs> So it can, it can be it can be as long as you wish because of the uh, the cleanliness of the of the tube environment. So that's why you can handle them. Well, usually the, the faster the better, but you can only handle them for several hours without any problems. So it would be a couple of hours before you exactly carbonization. Yes, carbonization. Full characterization, which would be all characterization. So the, so the characterization there are many here. So you can have what we call STM stain. Uh, 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 microscopic. So uh, with a, a specific tip, you are going to plot the surface and the electron density. Okay. And so when you do that, you can uh, recognize where the uh, the atoms are. So it's not exactly that; it's uh, the position where the electrons are detected. And so uh, by calculation, the next you need to uh, determine what is where are the atoms. But this can be achieved. And you can also control. This is a couple of hours. Typically, yes. So, uh, the, the, the order of, uh, of, of, of time scale is typically uh, one hour. Mm -hmm. Yes, for all the uh, manipulation that you can do with it. And then, once you have uh, identified the atoms, you also know to uh, you also need to uh, to know their uh, chemical composition. So you can do this. Uh, you can do this. You can also plot the electronic structure of the, the surfaces. Uh, for chemical composition, what method we use? So we can use, for example, XPS. Uh, which is a very specific uh, method for that. We can even use uh, secondary ion mass spectroscopy, etc. So there are plenty of different surface analysis that can give you some information either on the structure or on the composition of the tube that you are depositing. So this equipment costs uh, about uh, 12 million euros typically. Without the equipment uh, that were brought for a large part of them uh, from uh, previous uh, from the previous labs that gathered to, to form the institute on it, and uh, we have a similar tube in the, a second tube in that time in the world in China. So, uh, so there are two in the world. There are two. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, two, two in the world. world. Is it working in China? Yes, already. So I visited the uh, the tube there. Oh, yeah. mm. Yes, and uh, it's seventy meters long. It's so one hundred. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But uh, basically, the, uh, the equipments are the same. So the, the only difference is the, the capability that we have to uh, welcome uh, foreign scientists and, uh, and to, uh, to work with them. So uh, 
Here we have uh, plenty of people that are working on this uh, on this tube, especially people coming from uh, California, from uh, China, from Russia, etc. And uh, we are collaborating with many groups in the world. So basically, from the institute, about 40 researchers are involved in the use of uh, in the utilization of the of the tube every day. And of course, we have also PhD students, etc. So. Uh, so the main idea is just to keep the uh, uh, environment clean, and so thanks to the tube, <coughs> sorry, we can move from uh, one specific uh, device to another without breaking the vacuum, and, uh, and so that's the best way to, uh, uh, to keep the, uh, the surface properties comfortable. And this was built, right? Exactly what you uh, It was uh, built, uh, we, we started uh, relatively uh, long ago, so it, it, the conception started in, uh, typically in 2009, if I remember well, something like that, and uh, we achieved the, the construction of the tube in 2016. Uh, by the, the end, first by tube the end of the world in the China yes, exactly. This one so was the, the first tube, tube in the world. Okay. And, uh, and so... Uh, okay. The first tube in that size. Oh, that size. Yeah. Yeah. A, a smaller one and a bigger one, at least. Oh, okay. But, okay. but maybe it was eight meters. Yes, oh, okay. something, okay. something like that. It was much shorter. Uh, this is seven. And so this is when seven. These huge pumps, these are iron pumps, mm -hmm. which is this uh, mm -hmm. octagon. Okay. And you see, this is one, there is another one here. And, and this was the key to, mm -hmm. to put it down to the mine, to, to the minus. So this uh, specific specific device uh, with the vehicle and units in, uh, inside the tube without any contact with the walls, which is uh, a specific kind of stainless steel. And, uh, and so once it is uh, in front of one of these uh, uh, arms uh, here, you can, you can go and take the sample and, and bring it into the, uh, the vessel where you are going to be So um, this, uh, now the, the main studies made, uh, done here are devoted to uh, spintronic. So spintronic is the, the way to store the information uh, thanks to the spin of the electrons. And uh, this technology is very promising because we expect to gain a factor of 1,000 in the energy cost of uh, uh, information storage. So for the moment, when you have your, uh, your smartphone, you use a, a hard disk, and uh, with the, the hard disk that you use, uh, the, the energy consumption is huge. So uh, much uh, bigger than anything you can find in nature. I mean, the brain of a of a, of a mouse, for example, has a consumption of energy that is still by far, by far, by far <laughs> very, very weak. And, uh, and because of that, we try to find other ways to store information. And uh, Spintronic is one of the promising ways to do that. So, uh, and uh, how much can we use Osium optimistic scenarios? 1,000 times. So 1,000 times. Yes, exactly. Okay. So that's achievable. Uh, achievable. Really? And, done, and done already and measured. Is that already yes, one thousand? One thousand is already so so one thousand yeah. less energy. Exactly. So the point is that for the moment, to one hundred times time. faster, and probably one hundred times faster mm -hmm. because we reached the picosecond uh, mm -hmm. time scale. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, extremely short. And uh, so this is already done, but we need for that femtosecond lasers, mm -hmm. which are uh, extremely fast lasers, but also very uh, expensive. And so we try to find other ways uh, to control Spintronic uh, in order to uh, bring it to the market. And so this is um, uh, under construction for the moment. So that's typically, typically what uh, we are looking, looking at. Excellent. So you have 1,000 reduce of energy exactly. and 100 times faster compared to to do this and to do this to do this and to do this and to do this and to do this an experimental stage or pilot scale stage or no it's experimental it's experimental so basically the plans to do an industrial application so for example that could be very useful for people because they could 
a store there, a uh, yeah, data with uh, only one uh, nuclear plant instead of one, uh, or one thousand. <laughs> so now that's, uh, you can imagine you need to get only energy stars so it be uh, just more efficient. And it needs to be easier. No, it needs to be faster. The point, the point is that now you are making the generation that knows the part of the needs the to store data. If you want more data, Data centers are in north of Sweden, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and this is this is a problem. Yeah. And the other problem is the fast increase of the uh, internet of objects. Mm -hmm. So now you your your dishwasher, your washing machine, everything is controlled by Wi-Fi. And this is this requires huge amounts of uh, storage room. And to make it faster, how do we make it? How do we make it faster? It's very impressive. Also, also, a thousand times of reduction of energy. It's, it's huge. Exactly. And so, with this uh, with this device, we try also to invent new materials. So that's one uh, of the uh, of the activity of from uh, our work uh, in the past. So we're trying to uh, identify. Uh, new uh, materials like present crystal uh, oxidants that are specific phases that are going to be described next by uh, our colleagues that we are going to see in the afternoon. Okay. okay, let's go with that. Okay, if you want. Yeah. Sure. So that was the biosolid uh, pilot project. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, we were lucky because Stefan Moria came to see us with the idea for this and before we got the money to build the building. Yes. Oh, so the idea was okay, we build the building according to this. Everything is around this. And this explains this explains part of the shape of the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you would have uh, come to the idea two years later, it would be difficult to find a place for this. And maybe it would be impossible impossible to do it. Yeah. 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 Let's go to the next one. Okay, that's good. So, we're going to move to the other one. But you're saying one time is enough for one Exactly. Exactly. So, we try not to be talking about all this, but we choose to have an initial construction. And uh, you see, this is the tube before everything was built around it. Now you, it has disappeared from the there's some painting. Yeah. 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 Of corridors we have about 3.6 3.6 kilometers around there so that corridor okay 3.6 kilometers the lab is made like that it's basically three fingers uh, like this and uh, and so we are somewhere here okay and uh, and here we have these uh, pasu as we call them uh, that are green species, uh, uh, spaces where we can where we can stay during summertime and this kind of thing. So it's very pleasant. Uh, uh, so basically, the structure of the building is this one, and so the tube is uh, is here. All right. Thank you. Okay. It's a good way to attract them. Yeah, just exactly. So we must need a student. So we have a high school here. That's the science. It's a good way to attract them. It's a tube. That's the tube. 3.6 kilometers. And then we have the high school. Management of the engineering high school, business school, and art and design. 
the same campus. Dr. Florian, it's easy to see how, why they are so fit, because walking 3.6 kilometers every day. <laughs> so one more down. Oh, there's one more down. Even me, I sometimes I get lost. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so they are uh, researchers in the same group as uh, Professor oh, okay. and so they are working on uh, Actually, we, we met in the Cyprus. Oh, yeah, I remember. And also in the Antalya. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know these people already. We came to the Cyprus. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Time. So we are a family already. <laughs> So what we have here is a university platform. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and so we are studying uh, intermetallic surfaces, uh, quartz crystals, complex intermetallics. And uh, so we are studying these surfaces at the atomic level uh, using this type of machine. So we, we use a uh, It's a single crystal. It's an aluminium chromium alloy, which was grown uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the lab, actually, by a Klosharski method. And um, so these samples, they are mounted on some plates, and then they, you can manipulate the, these plates and move it from one chamber to another chamber and stay in, in ultra vacuum conditions. So once we load this sample, we have to clean it to prevent the oxidation uh, contamination. Then we do some annealing inside to the very level of the surfaces. And then we can check the atomic structure of the surface by various techniques like uh, low energy electron diffraction uh, and scanning the net fabric. And then we get atomic resolution. Computer tasks are for uh, your money. For very many tasks. That depends on the shots in the surface. Not for example. No, it's a, it takes because uh, these samples they are quite difficult to prepare. You get a really thin set of samples. So it, takes, <laughs> it can take a few days. Uh, it can take a few weeks. It depends. Uh, it depends. If you want to scan something, it's okay, but. Within a day, uh, <laughs> we've got atomic resolution. If you want to re resolve the uh, atomic structure of the compound, it can take a uh, few weeks. Yeah. So, the quasi crystals at the long board has been done, right? I remember. Mm -hmm. he, he has been one of the main uh, variants of sure. the quasi crystals. Uh, the amount of quasi crystals, yes. Yeah. 
Have you had a good contribution on that? Yeah, it should apply. It's theory. No, because it's difficult to get it on the price if the theory is applied. Well, when it is applied, it's, you, you see the application. But it's, you, it's already from Does Shepard have any people that didn't believe in this discovery? And you proved it. You proved it. But this is a big, this is a big, uh, you know, it's a big uh, contribution. So basically, it was an idea. It was a discovery that basically nobody believed. And they were criticizing. They were saying there are no quasi crystals. There are only quasi scientists. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story. Yeah. See the lack of application. Everybody messing with it. Yeah, sure. It's a big contribution in Shetland. And this is uh, so basically, you made him. This was the, uh, the, the paper, the publication of Nobel Laureate, getting the Nobel Laureate. So it's a big contribution, you know, that, you know, you should know that. It's a big contribution to this Nobel Laureate. Because uh, you saved him from all his critics. <laughs> <laughs> Many. Many. Well, I mean, every new thing normally he has. Doesn't see a way, it's, it's not accepted to be the big man. Yeah. Well, um, graphite, yeah. it was faster than others. Thank you. 
Which one? We, we do this in the tube. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We, we take a surprise system, just for our body formation. Okay. Then we go uh, platinum, okay. 10 nanometer. And then we go the the pellet space, which is the pellet space of position. So they are all connected on the tube. Yeah. And then you annul it very strongly. That's a good one. It's not quenched. Uh, no, it's you are well, linear 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 he got the, uh, he discovered quasi crystal, quasi periodic materials to be more exact, uh, 30 years ago around, and it was not accepted. It was ridiculized as a concept. Many famous people were against the concept, and uh, the concept and his discovery, practically, uh, they uh, just uh, discounted it and said it's not worth it. But what happened in this lab here? They proven his discovery. They proven the quasi existence of quasi periodic materials, which in short is quasi crystals. Uh, so, because of this work, among others, the discovery of Dan Shetman was recognized, found many applications, and 30 years after this discovery, he got the Nobel laureate. And remember, when he did first discovery, he was called quasi scientist. <laughs> the Discovery publication, the publication of his discovery were rejected from many journal, professional journals as worthless. Thirty years later, he got the Nobel laureate, and this lab here that you see here, it is one of the uh, uh, groups, to say one of the main ones, that's proven his discovery. So when you have a like, application like this, work like this, people here, somebody uh, discovers something. It's sure that you'll take a Nobel laureate probably in 10 years or even less now. So these are all to verify because this is very important. So these are this is the contribution these people gave to a discovery that was rejected, was ridiculized by famous people. And then he got the Nobel laureate because of this, because of this discovery, but after it was proven by others in this lab. So that's uh, it's very important to mention, repeating twice. Okay, thank you very much. Do the good work. Je vous souhaite uh, succès avec les quasi cristaux dans 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 les oxydes. Pour moi, c'est nouveau. Merci beaucoup. Bonne chance. Merci. Et encore un peu avant, vous 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 allez présenter ça dans la prochaine cible, je pense. Ça va. Je pense qu'on va le faire en équipe. Okay. So, so, wish you great success, very interesting work. So, this is a Nobel Laureate channel. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> they are continuing, and I'm just very happy to hear. Because I know Shetland myself, we have honored him in 2011. 2014. Our six six was decayed by all six. Yes. Mm -hmm. 2014. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Alors, good. Je vous souhaite encore de bons succès. Have a nice day, Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci. C'est vite de 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 Moi, je vais vous faire un peu de temps. Moi, je vais vous faire Euh, on est contre la lumière, mais ok. C'est vachement mieux.
Moi, je veux bien parler aussi du côté à Voilà. C'est notre côté, c'est bien. Oui, oui, oui. Mais il n'y a pas d'assistance. On va le bouger. Non, non, non. Asseyez-vous dessus. Asseyez-vous dessus. On va envoyer un tel chef, c'est pour toi. J'oublie quelquefois de sourire. Si tu vas la fouiller. Non, non, ça va. Je suis très fort. On pourrait essayer à avoir ça. Comment On pourrait essayer à avoir ça. Oui, c'est sûr. Si on peut la faire, la fin de la saison, on va sur le sujet de ce bassin. Le premier, c'était sur le bassin. Le test, le niveau, c'était sur le bassin. Le premier, c'était sur le bassin. Le premier, c'était sur le bassin. We are going to the final part of our life. Yeah, I agree. Dr. Florian uh, is going to be showing us a little bit more about the Institute Jean Lamour. And we still have like 12 to 13 minutes of live broadcasting. So let's see more of it. trying to uh, develop a new system to study the uh, turbulence and the interaction between uh, the plasma and, uh, and the walls for the, uh, the reactor that you probably already know called ITER. 
So, uh, so after that is built nowadays in the south part of France, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there we want to achieve nuclear fusion still, the, the, the reproduction of the behavior of a, uh, of a little sun. And, uh, and so because of the temperature is extremely high, typically uh, 10,000 uh, 10, 10, 10 million, 10 million degrees. So, uh, because of that, we cannot let the plasma uh, touch any materials because we will melt immediately. So, uh, to, uh, to achieve that, we need a very intense magnetic field. And so, that's why we need this kind of coils here that are made of copper. And uh, here we have about 30 tons of. Uh, that are needed to uh, create this uh, very strong uh, plasma confinement by uh, magnetic field. Mm -hmm. So uh, this project called SPECT uh, is the, the first of the kind uh, in France. And so we want to use uh, this, uh, this brand new reactor to study the different uh, uh, issues uh, due to turbulence. Because uh, we know that in a, in a reactor, uh, in a fusion reactor, the most complicated part is to master the turbulence that makes uh, particles uh, escape from the plasma and reach the walls at, with a very high energy. And so if you don't uh, control this step, uh, very quickly you can have uh, disruption. And disruptions are responsible for the degradation, the ultra-fast degradation of the reactor itself. So, uh, so understanding uh, this kind of problems is uh, really essential for the future of the in the world. And so uh, the new reactor meter is uh, under construction. It will be uh, operated, I think, in, uh, in, uh, in 2035, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so um, relatively soon. But this will be a, a very new experiment. Uh, and if we can achieve to control this kind of energy, that would be extremely yeah, interesting. Yeah. Uh, so this, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, fusion, the, the energy is given by the fusion of atoms. So the, the atoms are, uh, are uh, melted uh, when, uh, when, they, when, they, when they collide. You can do that, you know, uh, and so by, for example, the reactions between uh, hydrogen and, uh, and uh, deuterium, we, uh, we can uh, produce uh, tritium and helium, and uh, so we have ultra-fast uh, uh, matrix that are also produced, and so we can create like that the same kind of reactions that you have in the sun. Yeah. And so that's why you can generate energy with this uh, with this kind of power. But maybe not just do it with this. So uh, the turbulent uh, yes. is simulating? Uh, or you are, uh, yes, simulating. So we have uh, researchers here that are working on the simulation of turbulence in this condition. So if you look at uh, the sun itself, you often observe this kind of uh, magnetic that is uh, observed when we have uh, different kind of, um, of solar winds uh, expelled from the sun itself. And so because of this kind of, uh, of very specific behavior, this is due to the turbulence that we lost inside these kind of reactors. And so we want to control this, these effects, which is not so easy. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's very complicated. Yes, and it's very complicated. Yes, to, to it's, it's physical, it's physical you know, it's a completely physical phenomenon. Uh, well, Yes, in this case, exactly. So the, uh, the walls of the reactor will be made of tungsten, mm -hmm. and so the interactions, for example, of matrix, fast matrix, etc., with the walls are producing uh, dust uh, and particles that can uh, also um, uh, change the, the efficiency of the reactor, and then it can collapse very quickly with the amount of tungsten released by this kind of reactions uh, is too important. So all this must be controlled, so that's why we need uh, theoreticians to uh, help uh, in the uh, understanding of experimental in the understanding of experimental results that can be produced in these kind of reactors. So if you want, we can enter and just uh, Okay, Dr. Florian. <laughs> Dr. Florian, can you hear me? We're getting to the end of our life. This is the final part of it. Let's. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <You should. laughs>
This is the second broadcasting we are having directly from Nancy, France, where Dr. Florent Congoli is uh, performing a series of visits, and this one is to the Institut Jean Lamour, uh, one of the most important, one of the largest and most important uh, facilities in the world, the largest one in Europe, is responsible for uh, studies uh, um, in material science, such as in metallurgy and metallurgical oh, processing and, and solid state compounds and surface coating, solid state physics, and especially oh, magnetic nanomaterials not. and materials for health and medical applications. And we are going to be meeting again in two hours, a little more than two hours. It's going next uh, broadcast, next live broadcast going to be at five o'clock. Yes, and uh, it's going to be at a ceremony where Dr. Florian Congoli is going to be awarded uh, uh, the gold medal of uh, Nancy, the Ville de Nancy, and it's going to be another great moment, and we'll be back soon, so five o'clock in France. Uh, 11 o'clock in Montreal, and I, Mario Linares from Rio de Janeiro, will be meeting you again at noon. So, thanks everybody. It was a great pleasure having you guys with us, and stay tuned. Very soon we're going to be back together. That's it. Mario Linares broadcasting live from Rio de Janeiro and Nancy in France. See you soon.